Good evening, YouTube. I just want to touch base with you and show you some of the footage that I picked up earlier today. It's being observed by multiple Sasquatch. Here's the uh, the first one. That was, uh, you, you know, sometimes they think they're real sneaky, but you can hear them snapping branches and stuff, trying to get in the place and stuff, and and uh, and I know what they're a little uh, their bird mimic call that they talk back and forth. I know where what that is, and they do have to locate each other. So when I hear that bird mimic call that they do, I know right where to record. And, and to catch them, um, but here's uh, an adult with a young one. Uh, let's see, looks like some fingers down through here, some fingers pulling down vegetation. As you can see, it's a, a tough one to see, but very sneaky right there. He's pulling down the vegetation to get a line of sight on me. Very well covered and concealed. So is that one, but you can see his big teeth. <clears throat> uh, the kids, they like to get up close because they know I'm not going to hurt them. And they like to get up close to to uh, interact with my dog when they go out to potty. So that's what I was doing was letting my dogs out. And the kids absolutely love it. They love interacting with my dogs. And my dogs are getting used to them now too. So this looks like a young one turned sideways. Sideways profile. You can see it's eyelids. The black eyelids it has. These creatures, these beings have. I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's a squatch or not. If it is, he's an ugly one. But, uh, those are most likely pareidolia. It's just the, the little head at the top would be the only squatch in that bush. You see, possibly one there too. Whole family of them. So here was this one distinct one I wanted to show you. It was, it was pretty distinct. So he wasn't very well concealed. Let's see if I can find him here. Let's see, there's one. Let's see him. So here's one of the babies right here. Trying to get up close to the... Because my, my dogs will walk that little tree line right there. And they'll reach out and try to touch them and everything. They absolutely love them. So here, here's one. He's pretty well hidden. He don't have his <clears throat> glare thingy on his eyeballs. Uh, his, uh, he's got his glare lens up for his eyes to be seen. <clears throat> Sometimes they'll just put one glare, put one of the glare lens on one eye and view you through just one eye to help mask their uh, the outline of their face or, or to cut down on eye shine and whatnot. Very intelligent beings. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to find that one. Pretty much full face. See, there's my dog right there. Um, and these little babies, they just, they get so excited when the dogs come out. Um, and they're curious at how we interact with, with uh, other entities too. Because, you know, I'm sure they have... Uh, Ooh, here's one. 
I'm sure they have stories about humans, how wretched humans, you know. Don't let them catch you out. They'll kill you, blah, 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 blah. See, here's a good example of that eye lens cover. This is a baby right here. She's got her lips puckered. But you can see the eye lens right there. It's got the shade over it on the, on the, on the uh, baby's left eye. The uh, reflector shade is, is, is uh, covering her eye. Her right one is open. I think the shade might even be halfway open on that eye. But you can see the retina in that eye. And then the full shade on the left eye. And uh, they learn that at a young age, you know, for cover and concealment. Here's one. Of, here's an adult with multiple camo on its face. Let's see. Uh, but the main. Let me try to find that main one that I, you can see really well. See if I can find him real quick before I finish the video. Right here. Look at this guy. He's got his head laying sideways, peeking through the vegetation. He's got his lens covered down on his eye. And you can see his full fledged eye and his nose and then his hairline. His hair. Yeah, that's a pretty good clean shot. Maybe a little bit of his beard right there. Sitting there watching, up here watching me. I see where I live. Summer will be about over, so these guys will they'll be migrating soon. They'll be gone. So I'm going to try to. Collect a bunch of footage if I can this this past month. So I got a couple months of footage to go through. It looks like there's possible one up there. You can see his hands right there. <clears throat> Gripping vegetation. Cover and concealment is their main, their main thing. These guys are masters at it. It's unbelievable how good these beings are at cover and concealment. It's just, you know, it's ama it really is amazing. I wish I had a thermal camera. Man, there'd be so many bodies heated up out there. That would be so amazing to get. Maybe one of these days. And that might even be a little inf uh, a baby right there below him. See the top of his head there. That might even be a baby right there. I'm not sure. And maybe another one right there laying with it. I can't tell for sure. But yeah, there, there's a whole family of them here watching me. Observing me throughout the day. They're probably just, because it was hot. They're probably just laying out in the shade, relaxing. They know there's no threat here, and they know I know they're there, so... Uh, they're probably quite curious about that, the fact that I can see them, and that I'm aware of them. But anyways, peace.